Hey guys, welcome to my video. Uh, tonight's video is going to be about magnetic coupling. Uh, we have a 48 volt battery right here. Here's the amp meter. Uh, this voltmeter is actually showing the capacitor of the primary motor that's going to be running. Uh, this is an air core motor, so there's no metal inside it. Uh, it just has a basic circuit with optical timing, uh, MOSFET, and then it has a parallel winding for output with the rectifiers up on top. Um, this is just a, a basic motor, the same thing, has a magnet in the middle, one big coil, there's no circuit or anything. So what we're going to do is line these two up like this and then we're going to fire this thing up and you can see how they interact and work together or separately. So let's um, kick it on. So first off, let me show you the magnetic coupling. So you turn this one, that one turns. So the two big magnets are syncing up. So what we're going to do is turn the speed control off. This is not a self-starting motor, so we'll actually start with this one. And off she goes. So watch the, the voltage on the capacitor. This is a 48 volt system, remember? Turn it all the way up to full speed. So 166 volts and climbing on that capacitor for that light. But look, we have light running from the second motor or generator at this point. Uh, you can see the waveform. And you can see the amperage. 0.7. So if we if we slow this motor down a little bit, the amperage will go up as they're interacting with each other. And then what's really neat is this one is completely stopped. Now it went right out of sync, but we still have light going on because of the interaction. So this one is actually working as a transformer to that one now since it fell out of the sink. So if we turn this a little bit, you can see it's brighter and changes the waveform. And then as we push this apart, there goes the light. So we'll push these back together. Acts like a transformer. Turn this in the right polarity and there's the light again. So we could slow this all the way down. Almost will stop. And then what we do is just turn this one and it could come back over again. So we turn it up to full speed. Everything gets super bright. Anyway, I thought this was a really neat experiment. Um, this, this light is running just off the output of the first motor. 170, 73, 74 volts. And this one is right around 40 or 50, just from the um, sync up of the magnetic fields. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.